show now in this week's RP show I want to talk to you about having the right strategy and plan around what you're doing so in the last video I talked about finding a marketplace and starting to build relationships with buyers through that marketplace and the strategy was small pieces lots of them low dollar value to get paintings out of the marketplace so that more people know you and that will eventually lead to more relationships and eventually to more people demanding or, or wanting to buy your work, right? So find a marketplace and start getting active in that marketplace and starting to get some sales. Start at the low base and over time work up, that's the key. So in this video, I wanna to talk to you about the overall strategy. So some people assume when I mention the idea of finding a marketplace, that that's where you're gonna live and stay forever. Right? And, and that's not what I'm talking about. I'm just saying find a marketplace so you can start to get the, into the routine of being a selling artist and building relationships. But that's not where we're gonna stay. We wanna take those relationships out of that marketplace and into our world. So what is our world, right? If we're gonna be self-representing artists and we're gonna sell most of our artwork online, not all of it, but most of it, we're gonna create our own universe online. And there are certain things we need to have within that universe and certain strategies that we need to, um, you know, to make it all work. So what are the things that we need? Probably the most important thing that we need is an email database. Email, I've been marketing online for 25 years now, and email is still the most powerful way to market any product or service online. Now I know, I know, your inbox is full of emails, you hate getting emails, etc. cetera, um, so do I. Um, but email marketing is the best way of reaching people who wanna buy your artwork, right? So first thing, do not just add people to your artwork, uh, to, to your email list. As an artist, and I've got a bit of visibility, um, you know, a lot of people know me, I, I, I get artists, other artists adding me to their email list all the time, right? Without my permission. Never do that. That's a huge mistake because that's basically spam. So you can add, let's say you're selling regularly on eBay, you're selling you know, 10 pieces of artwork a week on eBay, then you have a relationship with those people so you can get their email address and you can add them to your email database because they've been a buyer of your work, right? So you legally can add those people to your, to your email list, but you can't just pick out people's email address off the internet and put it on there without their permission, right? But the so just be clear on that. The email database is the engine that drives your online art business, okay? The email marketing database. So you must have. Now you can start an email database on MailChimp for free. That's easy to get set up. And you can take all your past buyers of your artwork and put them on there. So now you've got an email database that you can communicate with, right? Because regular and consistent communication with your database is what's going to help you drive sales in the future. Okay, so we need to grow that database, that email database, but we need to communicate with them as well and build a relationship with them. Really important. So that's the first thing you need. The second thing you need is a website, right? You need an artist website, not a cheap one that you get for free. Invest in a proper website. And on that website, when you display a piece of artwork, have a buy now button, right? Where people can click that button and be taken to a checkout page, they put their credit card in and bang, they buy that painting, right? Um, so many artists, you go and look at their website and there's no way to purchase the, pr the painting when you see one you love. They all want you to email them, contact them, and you know that can take days and people lose interest. People make buying decisions in the spur of the moment, allow them to buy the painting there and then on your website, right? So you need a website and it needs to be updated regularly with new artwork, blog posts, and it needs to buy now buttons, okay? Um, there's a whole strategy around website, but I just wanna give you the main sort of high level overview of the system that we're gonna use. So you need a website. You also need a social media presence, okay? So when we look at social media, there's lots of different platforms you could use. The three very best ones for artists, especially visual artists, right? So if you're a visual artist, 
2D or 3D, doesn't matter. Um, you know, Facebook is exceptional because it, it enables you to engage in conversation freely and easily and people can follow your day-to-day -day movements, right? So you need Facebook. Instagram's great because people who are highly visual, they love Instagram and um, it's a great way to get exposure and get known. So, you know, Facebook and Instagram, they pretty much go together because Facebook owns Instagram. Um, so you, yeah, they're pretty much mandatory, I think. Then the third one is YouTube. I mean, you're probably here watching this video on YouTube. I think video is an underused tool for artists. And um, in our 12 week selling art online coaching program, I've got a whole section in there on video and how I'm using video to sell my artwork, right? So YouTube I think is vital and most artists aren't doing it well. Now art teachers like myself, I've got the Learn to Paint Academy and um, I've got a channel on YouTube, Learn to Paint, and I use it all the time. So there's a lot of art teachers using YouTube, but not many artists promoting their artwork. So what I'm suggesting is you can use YouTube and talk about your latest piece of artwork and do a little three minute video of you talking about the inspiration behind it, the story, the method that you've used, and use those videos as a way of getting recognition and getting your name out there and getting people interested in your artwork. People buy into the story more than they buy into the visual image, I believe, right? Or the combination of the two, I think is very powerful. So you need an email database, um, you need a website where we buy buttons. You need social media, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, right? What else do you need? You need a marketplace like eBay, Etsy, or any of the other online um, galleries, right? And my strategy is I use the online galleries and marketplaces as a way of getting my artwork known by people who are looking to buy artwork, but I want to bring them up off of those platforms into my universe, into my social media stream, into my email database and looking at my website and buying directly from me. So if you're just starting out right now, what do you do? Well, the very first thing we talked about in last week's video is to start selling artwork. Even if it's low dollar value, find a marketplace, I recommend eBay, find a marketplace, start selling artwork and do it consistently and reliably every day, every week, every month and build up momentum and get your name out there. First thing, right? Second thing, start an email list. Go and open a free MailChimp account and get all those people's emails and put them onto your MailChimp account, right? Um, and start to communicate with that email database. So that's the second thing. Third thing, once you've got those two running, Go and set up your social media. Get a Facebook and Instagram and get a YouTube channel and start producing content. The more you paint, the more opportunities you've got to be able to produce content about it. Every painting becomes a story, becomes a work in process, right? So you can, you know, the bigger pieces like this, I wouldn't put this on eBay. This is a bigger piece that's going into galleries and so on. Um, but, you know, as we talked about in the last video, I've got smaller pieces as well. And... You know, if you produce 20 small pieces and a couple of big pieces a week, then you start to build up a good inventory to create sales opportunities, right? So get your social media presence working, and the more you paint, the more opportunities you have then to create content to go out in the social media. And then get your website in place, okay? So they're, they're the steps I'd follow. Find a marketplace and start selling. Add those people into a database, an email database, and start communicating with that email database. Get your social media presence working where you're regularly updating it with content pretty much every day or two or three times a day and then build a website, right? And get that website built in the right way. Now, as I said, we talk about this in more detail in our 12-week selling art online coaching program. If you're interested in that, then just buzz me and um, I'll give you the details. That's fine if you're not, um, but we go into it in more detail for you. But here's what I want you to really start to think about. The way I have been able to build success selling art online and build my art teaching businesses. I have a strategy and a system. All those pieces I just talked about all work together. So the question I've got for you is, do you have a strategy and a system for you to be successful online? If not, you need to get one, right? And I've just outlined for you a starting point for you to be able to pull that together. So you need a strategy, you need a system, you need a plan, and then you need to work that plan. Hope that helps. Talk to you next week in the RP Show. Cheers.